welcome to Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Department. My name is Susan Baptist and this is Nick Broninger. How are you doing Doing today? great. Glad to be here. We are so excited. We're coming from you from the Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Department and we're here to tell you all about our upcoming big event called the Jacksonville's Jamboree. Yep. Nick here is our supervisor of all of our fantastic special events and him and his team work year round for this fabulous event and we have a ton of fun stuff for your entire family. Now when I say entire family, we mean entire family, right? We do. So everything from your sports enthusiasts to your uh, live music enthusiasts to all of the kids, we have a ton of activities, to even your car enthusiast. Right? Oh, so yeah. let's go well, ahead and give them the rundown on some of the activities. Let's start with entertainment. We are very excited this year that we're going to start off our activities on Saturday. Saturday, May 6th, uh, 10 o'clock is the start of the festival. 11 o'clock, we were lucky enough to get the Second Division Marine Corps Band yes. uh, to kick us off with their uh, uh, rendition of all the good uh, classics of American history. And then uh, after them, we're going, Color Guard is going to uh, present us. Started with yep. our event. So, what a great way to start off um, a community event with, but you know, the Second Division Marine Corps Band and then the Color Guard. What a fantastic yeah, it's, start. It's a neat, you're looking over 45 Marines in the bands together marching and playing their instrument it's a it's a good treat it's, to see it's them. definitely a good treat so we we certainly welcome everybody to come to kick off the day with us and then carry on with the rest of the entertainment because we have a whole day full of it so we're excited about yeah. that yeah we're starting off with our talent show um so it's jacksville's got talent to, i mean anybody in the city county where who has some type of talent is putting their name in this hat and competing for a, a cash prize at the end so it's a pretty cool experience to see people that you wouldn't expect to have such uh, cool talent. Absolutely. It is pretty neat. It's very, very special. It starts at 12 o'clock and then we go into... Then we start into our headliner band. Uh, Radio Narcs is our second band of the day. Uh, they'll kick off about 2 o'clock. And then after them, we got a, a good, soulful uh, Daryl Merle and the Jazz Pell will end our evening about 4.30. They'll kick off and they'll take us into the night as we finish up the event. So we have a, a wide array of uh, entertainment, everything obviously from the Marine Corps uh, Division, Marine, the Second Division Marine Corps Band kicking us off all the way to a jazz and, and soul mm -hmm. towards, uh, towards the end. So hopefully everybody will come out and everybody will enjoy it. Well, let's talk a little bit about the Jamboree and some of the um, important things that we try and do athletically. We tried for this um, event to be an economic driver in our community, and we think we do that pretty well. We have support from our Jacksonville Tourism Development Authority, and that is um, essential for us to bring in an athletic athletic yeah. events. And um, tell everybody a little bit about the athletic components that we have going on. Yes, we have a, a youth basketball tournament. That's all weekend long. Uh, we'll kick off Saturday the NTBA mm -hmm. tournament. Uh, they will occupy like four or five different venues because there's like over 70 teams from across the state, Virginia, South Carolina, they travel in and mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a huge tournament, a lot of outside travel in, impact to yep, the local area, which is good. And they'll run for Saturday and they'll finish up on Sunday afternoon. And then we also have a USA adult men's softball tournament that will go on there as well. So, And they'll travel from the state and outside of the state to come join us on the event, so it's a good uh, impact on the local economy because we got outside help coming in and they'll stay in our hotels and right. uh, visit the Jamboree as well. Absolutely. We want to appeal to all of those athletes and then their families to come out and enjoy the rest of the festivities, which we'll get yep. to in a minute. Um, it may not be athletically driven, but we have some other cool stuff for adults to do, including car display. Yes. Uh, we've, we've, this is our sixth year at the Jamboree and we've I've been lucky the last four or five years to have a nice car display. Because, uh, I mean, what festival you go to without seeing some old classic Absolutely. Uh, from Corvettes to New Age Camaros. And then this year, we've teamed up with a local uh, bike organization having a motorcycles will come out and display their Harleys and stuff like that. So we'll have from old school classics to New Age uh, muscle cars to those it's motorcycle, motorcycle. So it's going to be, you know, I love what I love about the the car display is just the energy you hear the roar and you hear the you hear that energy and you see the people that are so passionate about about their vehicles and the, what good care they take yeah it's it, so impressive to see it, it, they're beautiful inside and out i don't i don't know how they do it i i, it I don't reach, know how <laughs> but it's beautiful to reaches see reaches all the demographics you'll have old uh older people who've been car heads their whole life and yeah. you got little kids who just 
enamored by the lights yeah. and the loud roars and the it's just it's a good experience to see fun, it. Fun, fun. Which you uh, mentioned our biggest demographic, uh, I do believe, at the Jamboree. And that's one we're proud to be able to offer all of these activities for, and that is the children. Yeah. We have a ton, and I know you and your team work really hard to provide a ton of activities for the kids. So just name a few, and hopefully everybody at home can uh, reference our web page or, or the Facebook. writing it down or yeah. our Facebook or whatever the case may be. But we have everything for the kids. Yeah, we have you from your trackless train to your pony rides, your pet and zoos for those kids. We also have a rock climbing wall. It's yep. 30 foot high rock climbing wall. It's a great fun experience for kids to get that thrill of climbing up and ringing that bell and getting that just excitement from that. And then we also have some amusement rides this year. Um, we've added an extra uh, component to the amusement ride, so we'll increase that from last year. So those who, who were here last year We'll have an extra uh, ride and some games for them to really give them the chance to. So we have everything from amusement rides to games to rock climbing wall. What's the best part of all of that, Nick? It's the best part, which is probably this is our second year doing it, is we've added some water-based Oh, activities. yes, absolutely. Water-based activities. We have that out on the pond. If you're not familiar with where the commons is, we have a pond and we have some opportunity uh, You'll never get this opportunity year round because we make it a special, a special treat for everybody. Mm -hmm. But we were able to add some kayaking in yep. and some paddle boat rides in last year. Yeah, no, definitely. That's a good part. But really the best part about all of it is it starts with an F and it is free. Yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. All of those activities that we mentioned, everything that you've, you've heard, all of the entertainment, all of the rides, everything um, that we have going on at the Jamboree is free. And we just feel like this is something that are very fortunate. Our, our city council has, has allowed us to be able to provide this program along with uh, additional support from the Jacksonville Tourism Development and our um, sponsors. Marine, uh, Chevy uh, is a great sponsor and helps mm -hmm. us provide this free of charge. Yes. So there's no reason everybody shouldn't just come on out. Absolutely, right? Yeah, and then we'll have um, at least 20 so food vendors from your funnel mm -hmm. cakes to your frozen lemonades to your barbecue. Mm -hmm. And then Good we'll food. have over 60 craft vendors Arts throughout the park. Craft vendors, so. so come buy some Mother's Day gifts. Yeah. Absolutely. Mother's Day is around the corner from from uh, this event. And mm -hmm. so come buy your Mother's Day gifts or or get ready for the summer and see what kind of uh, clothes are out there or who's selling what. But we absolutely have a ton of vendors, a ton of good food. Um, and obviously we try to accommodate for all of the people that are coming into the area with a really, you do a great job with uh, your parking, identifying where they can park. Yep. And then we run a shuttle right to you, yeah. right to the doorstep of the event. Yeah, you don't have to worry about fighting for a parking spot up close. We have uh, the elementary school, the middle school and the high school all close by. You can walk from them. They're all within a half mile from the, the venue, but we also have our uh, benefit from using our Jacksonville Transit system to help uh, transit uh, from each of the parking spots to the actual right in front of the event. Right so you don't off. have to worry about sweating as you're walking. You can ride in the air conditioned right bus, up. drop you off, Beautiful. and head right in. So park, get out, get a shuttle around the corner, get off, and then go enjoy all the festivities. We've got a full day of activities planned for them. It's yep. a great thing. Uh, we have, I should mention, we still have some opportunities. If anybody has any talents and you're interested in being part of the talent show, it's not too late. Give us a call. Our number is 910-938-5312. And then obviously our website, which is jacksonvillesjamboree.com. And then Facebook. Go like us on Facebook. We're updating everything with that. We, I think we're also doing some Instagram and we'll be mm -hmm. doing some Twitter. So there's um, a plenty of opportunity for you to get the information. Yep and we will certainly be happy to give it to you should you call us. Can you think of anything else? It's free. It's on May 6th. Yep. Starts at what time? It starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. It'll go to 6 o'clock. Right. And we'll have a cool full day. day for you. We will make sure that you find something to do, and kids will be tired <laughs> as you leave because they'll be too busy running around trying to do all the fun activities. Fantastic. Well, Nick, I can't, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you and your team for doing all the hard work to put on this fantastic event. Um, it is certainly one we should be proud of yep. for the community. It is, um, it is a great day, and it's a great family event. So we encourage everybody to come on out May 6th to the Jacksonville Chambry at the Commons. Uh, we'll see you there.